Hello everybody, it's Rob from InHealth Solutions, and today we're going to look at what's new in Mastercam 2025. In Mastercam 2024, we're introduced to the graphical display planes in our whole making tool pass. This addition gave the user a visual representation of the selected clearances and depths. In Mastercam 2025, we've now introduced that feature into our 2D and 3D tool path. Let's look at this part that I'm working on and see how that can uh, help us out. So I have this part I'm creating this pocket on and I have some rapid motions over top of my fixed string. So let's jump into this parameters page and see what that gives us for our display. So at the top of the page, I have a display graphical elements button. And if I turn that off, then I, the, the uh, planes aren't showing. And I can turn it back on. Then I can also choose to display only elements on the current page. So if I remove that, and I go through these various pages, um, those elements stay on, right? So. Let's turn it off and leave it so it only displays when I'm in my linking parameters page. And then we're going to work with these individually. Um, so once we get in here, I can turn off what I don't want to see individually. Or I can turn all of them off and only work with one. Um, as I change my depth or my, my various heights, if I go up to 75 mil, I can see that that plane now moves up. I go up at 100, moves up even higher. And I'm also able to just interact with the screen, so I grab this plane. And then I can snap to whatever geometry I have on the screen. So I can see that that one's at 67 mil, so I can maybe go up, give myself a little bit of clearance and make sure I'm clearing, it, clearing out that... Uh, that fixed stream. And then I can go through these one at a time and I'll just turn off the other ones just so we can see the one that we're currently working on. So I have a stock model set up. Uh, let's go to a different level. I have stock included. So let's do top of stock. So I'll turn that one on. And again, I can just grab that, snap it into place onto my model and I can see it's right at that 40 mil. Let's do the feed plane. Now, I could, also, I could also drag this to an area that's close to where I want to be. So if I go close, and if I know the distance I want is maybe 43 mil, I can just start typing that in on my screen. Add in 43, and then it populates into my uh, linking page. And the last one I'm going to look at is our depth. So let's turn off our stock. And do the same for our depth. I'm just going to go back, grab that plane, and then just snap to that desired height down in there. There we go. So I can turn them all back on. If I look from the front, I can see all my various heights and where they're going to uh, clear the part and where they're going to cut in. So that's what's new for Mastercam 2025.